Alrighty, at Panures, Christopher Wilson here, the self-proclaimed mobile app mogul. And in this video, I'm going to have a, a pretty much heart-to-heart -heart with you all about Google Play. And, well, the Google Play Developer Council and who owns Google Play, AdMob, and a few other topics that I'm going to discuss. Now, this video is kind of a, kind of premature. I didn't want to break out anything like this this soon. But I feel I have to. And I'm and I'm not gonna say a whole lot. I'm gonna try not to say a whole lot about about this subject. But I may wind up uh, this may wind up being a, a hour long or so. But I hope not. But anyway, uh, and this and and this brought about from a comment from uh, Dennis K. Okay, and uh, Dennis K. Thank you for keeping the comments coming. And uh, this is a sensitive subject, but I'm going to I'm going to address your question, Dennis K. Um, and I also want to say this: don't get offended because uh, I don't know if you're a spy or not. I hope not, but this this topic is so sensitive. It's like FBI, CIA, confidential type stuff. Okay, but I do appreciate your question, and I, and I hope you know my answer is going to uh, help everyone else that looks at this. I mean, th this is really controversial, and like I said, I don't want to get into this right now, but I feel I have to. Because you do raise an interesting point about Google Play, and we're going to get into it. Okay, I, I'll just leave it at that. We're going we're gonna to take this as it comes. Uh, and I'm not showing my face on this because, you know, I don't trust Google Play. I don't trust the Google Play developer. I don't trust AdMob. I don't trust any of them. But I don't want to discourage, you know, anyone else from putting the apps on the Google Play Store. Okay. Uh, that's why I say, you know, in, in most of my videos, listen, try to obey all the rules according to Google Play. Because even if you obey all the rules, they're going to find something wrong with your apps to keep you off of Google Play. This thing goes deep, y'all. Okay. That's why I say this. Okay. Uh and Dennis K, let's let's get to um, get to your comment and your questions. Interesting info, but these are but these apps are five to six year old and has only five hundred k installs. Uh, that's a lot, Dennis. I mean, you you can basically build your build your career off those the numbers alone. So you know, I I mean, I don't know. How many apps you I mean downloads you're trying to get? You're trying to corner the market, but you know, that's that's actually really good. Uh back back a, a few years back when I made my plant vs. zombies uh, guide to plant vs. zombies, I didn't have that many. And I was making over over three hundred dollars a day. Okay. So I'm not sure what you're trying to do here, but you know, we, we Doing in this game, all we want to do is just keep our app on Google Play Store for now. Now, and I'm going to say this, um, and I didn't want to get on my soapbox about this as I said before, but you know, hopefully, Google Play, you know, they're going to be eliminated. The Google Play Store is going to be eliminated. I'm waiting for Facebook apps or Facebook to get an app store. You know, to, to cut all this foolishness with Google Play out. Okay, really. But, continuing on with the question, it's near 10Ks install a month, which is very good. Very good. Now, I'm going to get to your part where, uh, the part of your question or your comment where, yeah, it really struck a chord. Like I said, you know, this caused me to go in another direction as far as this. And I may put this video up immediately or I may just wait. But I heard that Google Play, that Google likes to ban accounts for little things like small errors in code or wrong screens in the description. That is absolutely correct. 
Let me highlight that. That's absolutely correct. I've got my account shut down for little stuff like this. Okay? But it turns around uh, that it was their mistake. See, I don't know what their bots are programmed to do, but this is absolutely true for everybody. That's why I say, you know, be diligent. Like, like for your first 10 apps, make sure you follow everything. You, matter of fact, for your first 10 apps, for your first 15 apps, it's, and it's okay, everyone. Just make sure that uh, you use your images that are uh, public domain images or, or private label rights images, creative commons images, whatever you want to call it. Just make sure that you know those images are clean. Okay? Just try to stay on apps, you know, that, uh, that you can make everything PLR or public domain, uh, animal ringtones or something. You know, where you can just get animal ringtones, PLR products, whatever, uh, and, and wallpapers also. Because the first, I uh, believe the first app that I uh, instructed everyone to make is like a wallpaper app. But just, you know, make it simple. Keep it simple. Uh, jelly bean wallpapers. Christian wallpapers. Something like that. Make sure you get them, you know, when, when you're on your Google search, uh, uh, Google Play. I mean, I'm sorry, Google uh, Images Search. Make sure that, you know, you, you put the filters on it where it's uh, made for, let's see. I'm going to show you. Like, just go to Images. Make sure that it's, uh, you got your, your settings on. Uh, no, wait a minute. Yeah. Make sure, yeah, there we go. Make sure you got your usage rights. Make sure that label for com commercial reuse with modification. All of these, not 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 filtered by uh, license, and I tell you all that all the time. But I also tell you, if you do choose to use images, make sure you put those filters on your images. Okay. Now, and as I, as I said, just mentioned that they will do that. They'll shut your account down for that, which is ludicrous. But you have to you. We have to accept that for right now until Google Play is out of there. And I hope very soon. Because they're not right. Okay? Um, and also, let me, let me say this about... Uh, how can I say this? Okay. I'm a black man. And I'm not bringing race in this in any way whatsoever. But I remember when I was in Texas... They, they, they got a saying in Texas, you know, when I, somebody gets arrested, whatever, you know, you made that up. In other words, police officers or police will make stuff up as they go along. They just make stuff up. What kind of charge is that? I never heard any kind of charge that is, well, uh, you know, that is. They just make it up. Google Play does the same thing. They may look at your app. They just made the sign, or whoever you whoever's reviewing your app, they may decide, uh, I don't like your app. And they'll make something up. They may say something about your, uh, look right here, about your, your one of your screenshots. They may say something about your icon, anything. They will do that. And, and, and for you all, I'm telling you all the truth here. Um, another thing, like I said, they'll make something up. Um, I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan, and um, pretty much like all of the uh, the party stores, we call them party stores in Detroit. They're owned by the uh, the Iraqis and the Iranians. You very rarely see a party store owned by a white person or a black person. Okay, and that's just the way it is, you know. Now they're good. They're, they're, they're fine people, of course, most of them. But uh, you know, it's a thing like they pretty much own own that market. If you want to get a wig, and you probably can all answer answer this: What? Who owns most of the wig stores, or the beauty beauty and barber supply stores? Who owns most of those? Okay, you answered it. It's the Asians. Okay, at least here in Georgia, it's the Asians. 
They own those. Okay. Uh, the Google Play Store or the Google Play Developer Council. Now, I, I, I didn't peep this, and I always thought the internet was uh, was not not uh, racially biased, but it is, <laughs> as I found out, and probably like the probably around 2012 is when it started. You know, you pretty much know who owns what, what type of websites, what type of you know, who owns the ad market and so forth. But the ad market is owned by. Uh, and really, you know, this is their niche, is, is the uh, Indians, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. I have no problem with that. But the thing is, when they start making decisions about shutting apps down and everything and, and closing the market so no one else can get in it, I got a problem with that. So, I, I, and I did a quick little search here. Um... How to make apps. If you basically just Google that or put that on a, yeah, if you Google that, most of the videos will be from someone. Matter of fact, let me go to, I got this, uh, where do I have it at? Uh, oh, I got to find this. But most of those videos are going to be from someone Indian. Uh, and what I'm looking for is, I even I made a separate a, a separate video for this. Matter of fact, a separate folder for this, just to show you who owns the app stores. And I'm gonna find it. Just give me a minute. I'll pause the video for a second. Okay, I found it. Okay, it's under my. And I need to put this where it's most prominent at. But it's under uh, Dromo. Okay, different language trainings. Okay. Matter of fact, let me just open these up real quick. Okay. Let's see what this first one will be. It'll probably be... Okay. 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 Uh, the name of this video is... Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's in English, but it's te technical as Harma, okay? And he's obviously speaking a different language, but he's but it's earn money by clicking on your by clicking on your on own on ad mob app, okay? But uh, he's basically telling you how to I guess beat the system. Here's another one, but. My premise for this is, if you type in how to create apps or how to make money with apps, it's usually going to be someone from India that's going to tell you that. Very few Americans do. Okay? So let's look at this one. Uh, how to publish apps on the, on the Google Play Store. Okay? And like I said, now look right here. Okay? That's not American. But I think I typed in the subject how to create mobile apps, something like that. And friends, but friends, but friends, but friends, but friends, Video के अंदर फ्रेंड्स के लिए मैं नहीं आपके लिए कोई एप्लीकेशन बताऊंगा ना ही आपको कुछ ओके नाउ डोंट गेट मी रॉन्ग आई एम नॉट प्रेजेंस इन नो वे बट आई डू नो नमस्कार दोस्तों मेरा नाम रजत दास और आप सभी का हमारे चैनल टेक वीडियो का बहुत स्वागत है ओके है तो तो दोस्तों आज के इस वीडियो में आपको बताने वाला हूँ कि आप अपने एंड्रॉइड ऐप को किस तरीके से प्ले स्टोर में फ्री में डाल सकते हैं तो दोस्तों इसमें कुछ रिस्ट्रिक्शन है वो बट दिस इज आई नोटिस सो गेस वार्केट हु विग मार्केट और ब्यूटी बार्बर सप्लाई हुस द पार्टी स्टोर ओके वट अबाउट होटेल ओके नाम जिस Just bringing this to light, okay? 
Now, and actually, when 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 my when my partner Randy, when he first brought this to my attention, he said, "Man, them Indians on on all the apps, you know, they making all the apps." I'm like, you know what? You you you're right. You're right. And see, at the time, I'm feeling a certain kind of way. They keep closing my accounts down and everything. Why? And why is it is is a lifetime ban for your app on Google Play? Why? You know, why do they have to shut up, shut down everything? Okay, just something to think about. Now, let's go back to the uh, to uh, Dennis K's comment. Okay. I want to address it part by part. Okay. He said, I heard that Google Play likes to ban accounts, and they do. I just addressed this, right? With wrong screens. And like I said, it, the reason could be anything. It could really be anything. Okay. Dennis K also says, and I heard that some new apps can't even be in the Google Play market. Okay. Now, with that, Dennis K, I'm going to tell you that is absolutely wrong. Now, if you remember from my previous videos, what do I always say? Your app is going to be in the blank before you start to see it. Starts with the S, ends with the X. Yeah, your app is going to be in the sandbox, right? Okay. So if you if if, if you're on Google Play, and but and, and I'm telling you, trust me, I do this. This is what I do. I got eight years experience doing this, everybody. You know. And I don't need to explain my credentials any further. But suppose you put up put up your new app. Let's see the one we did with Andromeda was like unicorn, unicorn wallpapers, uh, unicorn wallpapers. Okay. Now you're going to click that. As soon as you put your app up, you're going to look for it on your Google Play Store. Now, if it's a big market, more than likely you're not going to see it. <laughs> okay. And especially if it has the same name as, you know, some of the other ones. But what you need to do is do this. Put quotes around that. It's going to refine your search. Now watch how it refines the search. Okay. Well, they refined it a little bit. But you want to put that in quotes. Now, for the first, for the first day, you may not see your app. You may have to scroll down and scroll down and scroll down. And your app may be the last app. It may be. Day two, you may scroll down, scroll down. Okay, your app may come up like right around here somewhere. Let's just say that, you know, one of these. I'm just using these, using these as examples. Okay, day three, you may scroll. Your app may go down a, a little further. It may be down here now instead of where it was. Day five, scroll up. Okay, guess what? Your app may be right here. Day six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, it may get up to here. Okay? Or it may go down. But your app is on the Google Play Store. You have to search it with the with the quotes around it. Okay? So, getting back to this question, your app is going to be on the Google Play market. It's going to be there. But for those first 10 days, it may be in the sandbox. You may not see it for the first 10 days. Okay? And I, and, and I say 10 days is a cushion, but you may not see it. But it's going to be there. And if you search it daily, like I do, or hourly sometimes, I used to search mine like every hour. Okay, it's got to move up now, you know. And then I may see my app. Okay? All right, so so don't be shocked if you don't see your app right off the bat, okay? Don't panic. Your job is to just keep putting up apps. As long as you, you don't get an email from Google Play developers, don't worry about it. <coughs> your app is there, okay? Dennis K says, I mean, when you try to search search name app, you will, find, you will not find it at all. Okay, well, I just addressed that. Don't be surprised if you don't see it at first, but it's there. It's going to pop up. Okay. Now, I'm going to say this again. Okay. 
They are, please just put up apps that are easy to create and simple to make, just so you can get your app on the Google Play market. Google Play is going to do the rest, as I said in a previous video, or um, uh, which video was it? The one I just made, actually, where I addressed Dennis K's comment at first. You know, um, Google's going to move, Google Play Store is going to move your app up. Don't worry about it. But if you don't see it for the first 10 days, don't worry about it. Okay? It, it's there. Your app is there. Now, I addressed the, uh, and I got to be real careful with this, y'all, because I, I, I don't trust the powers that be. I, I really don't have a fight, you know, as far as, you know, trashing Google Play. I don't like them. <laughs> and I say that. But for you all that are new to this, you know, I don't want you to start off on the wrong foot, you know. And actually, I'm I'm, I'm going to do a training, you know, where where I show where I show you all everything that Google Play does. I'm going to show you all the emails I got from them, all the app rejection emails I got from them, and everything. Matter of fact, we're, we're going to do that because I want to keep everybody compliant. That's my number one goal. Just keep you compliant. On the Google Play Store until we find another Play Store that's going to, you know, upsurp them. Okay. All right. But who owns Google? I think I, yeah, who owns the Google Play Store? Um, let's see. And uh, I think I had a name. But, um, and, th and this kind of shocked me because I thought Google was, uh, was made in USA. I mean, I thought, you know, the headquarters in the USA and the owner was an American, but he is not. He is not. Uh, man, where I just had it. Okay. All right, let's try this. Who owns, who owns Google? Let's try that. Okay. Uh, Alphabet, no, that's not right. Who's the real owner of Google? Larry Page, no. Uh... There was a um, a foreign name. I just had it. Um, let's see. Who, okay, let's try this. Who was the CEO of Google? The CEO, oops, CEO of Google. Google. Okay, let's try that. Yeah. Okay, so this is Mr. Sundar uh, Pichai, okay? He owns Google. He's CEO. Now, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not prejudiced in no way, but it's, it's something to think about. They own, Indians own the ad market, you know, and, you know, it's, it's, it's only reasonable to think that, you know, at some point, they're going to look out for their own. Okay? Now, I'm probably going to get some flack about this, but that's okay. I'm, 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 I, I have my opinion to express, and I'm doing that. We can do that in America. Okay? Now, with that being said, what can we do to make sure that our app gets downloads, you know, from everywhere that we can get them? Well, as I said before, make your promo video. Put your app on Facebook. And I would be so happy if Facebook came up with their own app store. They have an app page. You can make your, you know, your own, uh, uh, you can put your app on that Facebook, on a Facebook page. Matter of fact, I'll show you mine real quick. I've got a few there. And they're making me a nice little amount of change, but it's still not an app store. But I have a app, couple of app pages. I'm going to show them to you real quick. Um, let's see. They'll come up real quick. But I'm, I might as well show you this ninja trick too while I'm at it. Okay, we're going kind of slow here. Oh, okay, here they go. Okay, now, here's my NFL football quiz trivia, my Super Bowl trivia, my rap quiz. Let's see, see more. We're going to put up all my app pages, okay? Open that a new link. Open that one. Open that one. 
Open that one. Let's see. Break your news. Yep. Super uh, superhero quiz. Okay. Now these are a few of my uh, apps that I made um, that I made a Facebook page for. Okay. So when you make your Facebook page, make your yeah. When you make your Facebook page, you know it looks something like this. <clears throat> And I haven't been on this one in a while, but you know, you got your, your app there, okay? You got some videos, okay? Let's let a few of those videos, well, no, I'm not. But anyway, a video, which you, you could call your promo video, actually. Then, you have this button right here, use your app. So when people click that, they can actually play, well, it'll actually take them to the Google Play Store or wherever you have your APK file at, okay? So for this particular one, I think I have this on Dropbox, but it was on Google Play at one time. So if I want to test it, it's going to take it's going to take the user to Dropbox, yeah, for this one, okay? But for this one, let's see. Uh, no, better yet, for this one, it's going to my superheroes quiz, okay? Um, and like I said, once you get this page up, you know, you can constantly post to it. You know, you can post to it every day if you want to. Okay, so here's the superheroes quiz. Okay, and like I said, you know, you can like use app. If, if, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. No. But use app. And it should pull up the test button. But uh, yeah, if, if you're using one, want to, yeah. If they want to download the app where it says use app, you're going to put your link there. Okay, I don't know what happened with this. But anyway, yeah. So that's how that goes. Put your app on Facebook. Now, a ninja trick real quick. Join some groups related to your app. Okay? Like... Um, Let's see. Like most of my keyboard apps that I have, I've joined uh, I've joined groups surrounding that subject. Uh, NFL quiz, okay. Let's just say NFL quiz. Okay. What I did was check this out. I joined some groups relating to NFL. No, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see. But let's try this. Let's see, NFL. Okay. Uh, I want groups. I want groups. No. Groups. Yeah, groups. <laughs> okay. So anyway, like NFL football. Okay. NFL whatever. All of these are NFL groups. Okay. Join a few of these groups. You know. And then submit your your app page to these groups. That works amazing. Now, another thing about Facebook is Facebook is going to tell you how your app is doing. Google Play doesn't do that. Fa Facebook is going to say, well, you got a message. See, as you can see right here, you got a message. You got another message. Okay? So you can read your message and, you know, post something to your message to get people to download your app. Okay? Then you can, um, there's something on here that's called boost your page. If, if you want to do that, you can pay like $10 and they'll boost your page to reach a certain number of users. Okay. So, um, yeah. So really that's my spiel with that. And I answered, um, uh, my man, uh, Dennis, I answered this question also. Okay. So. I answered all the uh, all of his concerns, okay. And I appreciate you, Dennis K. And like I said, uh, when I'm talking about this this, this Google Play, you know, suspending accounts and everything, you know, I I get real leery because I do know they got spies out here, man. You know, this coronavirus thing, you know, don't think that's an accident. You you can have planes, you know, in the sky right now dropping stuff around these, you know, around a certain place. Think about Tuskegee experiment. 
where black men were infected with the, with 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 uh, VD. You know, they tried to try their best to cover that up. So I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I do know how to be careful. I know what to watch for. Okay. So for any of you all that, that, that want to be a spy, you can spy me out. I don't care because I don't have no, I, my dog is not in, in the fight with Google Play developers. You know, I'm just waiting for them to go down. <laughs> now, with that being said, I'm going to show you one more thing. Okay. And I appreciate you all staying with me to the end of this video. I really do. Because this is something, you know, that you're not going to hear everywhere. You, you, you can hear all the, all the green grass stuff, how, it's, how, you know, put your app on Google Play and such and such, you know, and, 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 and they're going to make sure you get downloads. No. They will make sure you get downloads, though. But, um, yeah, one more thing I wanted to search. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> now, you're going to be shocked at this, though. Google Play developer suspension yeah suspended now watch this now even though you know Google the Google Play market is owned by uh, Indians look at all these Indians getting mad okay well I looked at this guy this guy said his got terminated he got it back I don't believe it <laughs> but anyway yeah how to appeal for the spinning? You, you can appeal all you want. It's, it won't do any good. But look at this. See? Look at this. We got a problem now. See? All of these are uh, Indians that had their account suspended. Okay? Look at that. There's another one. Okay? There's another one. <laughs> oh, yeah. See? And see, like I said, I'm an old schooler. I'm 55 years old. Okay. I can remember when uh, the crack ep epidemic hit. Okay. Now, when crack first hit, it, it affected mainly the uh, the black community, right? Okay. Some of you youngsters, you may not know about that, but yeah. You know, and we, we, we're telling the government, you know, this is the problem. Where are these drugs coming from? But they ended up in our communities. But the government didn't do anything. No, we, we don't have a problem. Or we have a problem, but it's just in the ghetto where the black, you know, where the minorities at. Okay, well, guess what? When crystal meth hit, and it started hitting these suburbs, and it's surrounding communities from the cities, what did the government do then? Oh, no, we got a problem. Oh, uh, really? Oh, we got a problem now. Now that it's in the other communities besides the black community, we got a problem now. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so believe me, when enough of the, these Indian developers raise a fuss about these about Google Play, well, guess what? Something's going to get done. Just like, you know, with, with, with the drug epidemic, okay? Well, we didn't have a problem, you know, when it's affecting the black people. But when it started hitting, you know, the suburbs and the whites, okay, oh, we got a problem now. We got to stop it. <laughs> right? So, with that being said, I just want, just want to put you all up on, put y'all up on some game, man. You know, put y'all up on some game. Okay? As far as, you know, in the app market, in the apps market, it goes everywhere. You think the mob is not involved in the app market? Okay. So I'm going to leave y'all with that, you know, peace and blessings. And uh, I'm going to see you all in the next training. Um, I got some good stuff on the horizons. Matter of fact, uh, I have it done already. But it's how to make an ebook and audio uh, book app. See, not many people do that. They just have either an ebook or an audio book. I'm going to tell you how to do both. So, I'm going to see you in the next training. Talk to you soon. Christopher Wilson, the mobile app mogul. Take care and God bless.